The Winslow Engineering Model 560 Mini Video Tool Analyzer is an inexpensive, easy to use piece of equipment used for inspection and measurement. It comes standard with inspection software, which will run on any computer with the following system requirements. It communicates with the computer through a USB cable, making connecting the 560 Mini Video to a computer fast and easy. To enhance the inspection capabilities, it offers adjustment in the X direction, and the Y direction. Travel on these directions is easily measured as the machine comes standard with digital calipers on the x-axis and a graduated dial on the y-axis. To easily bring the object into focus, the z-direction is adjustable as well. There's a course adjustment, and a fine adjustment. The V-pivot rotates 90 degrees to allow inspection of the tool from the front and side. Included are a match set of V-blocks. In the configuration seen here, they will accommodate small tools. To inspect larger tools, simply flip the V-blocks over and find a larger V area on the other side. The lighting source is available as either a halogen lamp or an LED lamp. This particular unit is equipped with the LED lamp, which has variable light intensity. The use of a gooseneck and swivels help to direct the light to create the best possible image. The zoom level on the 560 mini video is adjusted through the use of auxiliary lenses. The machine comes standard with two auxiliary lenses, 0.5x and 0.75x. The system can also be used without an auxiliary lens. The approximate field of view for each configuration is as follows. For the 0.5x auxiliary lens, the field of view is 0.438 inches horizontal by 0.313 inches vertical. For the 0.75x auxiliary lens, the field of view is 0.293 inches horizontal by 0.215 inches vertical. And for the no auxiliary lens configuration, the field of view is 0.215 inches horizontal by 0.158 inches vertical. What field of view is basically telling us is the largest tool that will fit the screen for each auxiliary lens configuration. For example, with the 0.5x auxiliary lens, a 0.313 diameter tool will completely fill the screen vertically. The auxiliary lens configuration is very easy to change. Simply grab the lens of choice and thread it onto the end of the system. In addition to the standard V-blocks, there is also a variety of optional accessories available. There's a center assembly with a tool capacity of up to 8 inches long, a collar chuck assembly with a tool capacity of 5 64 inch diameter to 25 32 inch diameter, a small tool inspection assembly, there's a small tool chuck assembly with a tool diameter capacity of 1 32 of an inch to a quarter of an inch, a gun drill fixture, and x-axis, y-axis, and rotary b-axis encoders with a digital readout. Winslow Engineering continuously strives to meet the customer's requirements, so if you need something but don't see it here, we'd be happy to design it for you. 
The 560 Mini Video software is very easy to use and offers an array of features for inspection and measurement. It allows the user to save a snapshot of the tool or view a live video of it. Measurements can be taken in both of these settings. You can see that right now we're viewing a live video of the tool as I'm moving the x-axis and y-axis. To take a snapshot of the image, simply double click on the image and you can see that the thumbnail has shown up in the space on the left. Or you can take a snapshot by clicking on the camera icon in the top left corner of the viewing area. To open a saved snapshot, simply double click on the snapshot thumbnail. When a snapshot is opened, another thumbnail appears in the upper menu bar alongside the thumbnail for live video. Clicking on these thumbnails allows you to toggle between the open snapshots as well as live video. To close a snapshot, click on the X in the upper right hand corner. To assist with inspection, there are a variety of different standard overlays that can be placed over the image. There's a grid, a bullseye, crosshairs, and scale crosshairs. The 560 Mini Video is a very accurate tool for measuring angles. It offers two different angle measurements. There's the four point angle, which works very well when you don't have a definite vertex. And the three point angle, which can be used when you do have a definite vertex. It also offers various length, diameter, and radius measurements. However, it is recommended to use a method such as a hard stop to ensure that the distance from the camera system to the tool is the same as that from the camera system to the calibration scale during calibration. This is due to the depth of field of the system. The depth of field is the range of distance from the camera system to the object in which the object still appears in focus. You can see this here. As I adjust the focus, the face of the drill still appears clear. You can also see that the size of the drill changes on the screen as I do this. This change in drill size on the screen also demonstrates how the accuracy of our measurement could be slightly affected. Therefore, it is recommended that you bump the calibration scale up to a hard stop during calibration and using the same stop when measuring a tool. Or you could also use the DRO which is an optional linear encoder kit on the X and Y axes of the mini video. The mini video comes standard with digital calipers on the X axis and a graduated dial on the Y axis, which could also be used to measure lengths. If it appears that this may be a problem, then perhaps Winslow Engineering's 560 video, 560S, or 560L would better suit your needs. Depth of field is not an issue on these three analyzers. This is due to the fact that the depth of field range gets smaller as magnification increases. The zoom lens on these other three systems reaches a magnification level high enough and that this range is essentially zero, therefore providing repeatability from calibration to measurement. In order to measure lengths, diameters, and radiuses using the software, it must first be calibrated. The software will only need to be calibrated when it is initially installed on the computer as all calibrations are saved. It can be seen in the calibration folder that there are calibrations already saved for all three auxiliary lens settings, 0.5x, 0.75x, and no auxiliary lens. The following will demonstrate how easily the system is calibrated. To calibrate the software, all you need is either an object of known length the calibration grid included with the 560 mini video, or the optional calibration scale, which is what you see here. From the calibration menu, simply select New Calibration Profile, name it, in this case we'll call it No Auxiliary Lens, and select Continue Calibration. Next, click Freeze, enter the magnification rate, which is always one for this camera, and align the points with the desired hash marks.
enter the known distance, point 0.2 in this case, change the units to inches, and select Finish. Now, the new calibration profile is saved. The check mark next to it indicates that this is the active calibration profile. We can verify the calibration by taking a quick measurement. And just as we'd expect, 0.2 inches. Once the calibrations are saved, the software can be used to perform the following length, radius, and diameter measurements. There's a two-point diameter. A three-point radius. And a three-point arc. You can measure the distance between the center of two circles. There's a centered radius. A polygon which is closed by hitting the escape key on your keyboard. We can measure a line to a point in which we create an arbitrary line and then measure the perpendicular distance from this line to any selected points. A continuous line, which is basically a polygon that does not get closed. And the length between two points. In addition to measurements, the software also has the ability to add drawings and annotations. There's an oval, a rectangle, an arrow, free draw, a straight line, and annotations with text of your choice. The appearance of drawings, measurements, and text can also be changed based on the operator's personal preference. There's line color, line style, and thickness. Now, any new measurements and drawings will display an orange line with a greater thickness. The text can be changed as well. All new measurements and annotations will now display maroon text with the chosen font, style, and size. Any measurement that is presently on the screen will also show up in the Measurement Properties window. This Measurement Properties window can be used as a means for generating a report. Simply clicking on the icon on the toolbar opens the window, allowing the user to see all of the measurements in spreadsheet form. In this case, clicking on the circle tab shows the data for the diameter measurement taken, DC0. Clicking on the angle tab shows the data for the angle measurement taken, FA0. In the measurement properties window, there's the option to clear all measurements and drawings or export to Excel. Selecting export to Excel will send all the measurement data to an Excel spreadsheet which can then be saved and used for reporting. Now let's say that you have a master tool and you want to quickly compare certain geometric features on this master to a batch of tools. The 560 mini video offers the ability to create and save custom overlays based on this master tool and reopen them at a later time. In this example, measurements were taken for the diameter and chisel angle of the drill. To save the overlay, Right-click on the screen and select Export Drawing. Name the file, then select Save. To open the overlay at a later time to insert over another tool, 
simply right click on the screen again, select Import Drawing, find the previously saved file, and select Open. The overlay has now been inserted onto the screen and can be used for inspection. If it's necessary to directly compare a master tool to a batch of tools, there's also the option to create a transparent overlay of the master tool. Open a snapshot of the master tool, right click and select transparency mode. The transparency of the snapshot can be increased or decreased using the mouse scrolling wheel. Align it with the live video screen or another snapshot and you can now make the required comparisons. As mentioned earlier, the 560 mini video allows the user to save a snapshot with or without measurements on it. Double clicking on the snapshot will open it up in the software. From there, you can continue to inspect it and take more measurements. You can also choose to save it, email it, print it, view a slideshow of multiple selected images, or delete it. 